What's up, beautiful people? It is another day here in Stefansminder or Kazbegi. And as you can see, weather isn't looking too great. It's been raining quite a little bit this morning. But the sun's trying to burn through now. And we're going to try and head to an area known as the Dolomites of Georgia. Don't know how true it's going to be, but it's a little town, a little village called Juta. I think about 18 people continuously live there, so it's very small. But it's meant to be a pretty beautiful place, so we're gonna see if we can head there today. Hey. Oh look, you can see this is the big clay pot that they make all the bread in. Medlova. Unfortunately, the travel agency that we used to get to Trousseau Valley yesterday, their minivan thing was completely booked up to go to Juta today. So it looks like we're gonna have to find a probably slightly more expensive taxi to take us to Juta today. Car stop, walkie walkie go. Six hours, maybe? Six hours, no problem. Going in this one, are we? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is the car we're going in today. We thought we'd be going in like a four-wheel drive Delica or something like this, but looks like we're doing it. Looks like we're doing it the fun way. What? <laughs> That was a pretty scary journey. Terrifying. I mean, we heard stories about Georgian driving and we weren't sure why we'd heard stories about it up until this point. That was probably one of, if not the scariest drives of my life. When we reached this mountainous bit where there was just a sheer drop down to the side of us, he just seemed to be absolutely pelting it. And uh, yeah, I did try and ask to slow down, but I mean, maybe we did a bit, but that was, <sighs> my heart is pumping, absolutely pumping. I can see why they say Georgian drivers are crazy. You can see that we're just below the cloud line right now. It looks very, very beautiful with the water flowing down through it. And over here looks a bit brighter, so we're hoping for better weather. But at the moment, those stunning views of the mountains we've not quite got. Weather's really not playing ball. We've just tried to uh, walk up a little bit so that we could get a better view, but the rain's starting to come down quite a bit heavier now, so. If we can get to one of the, I think there's like a really nice camping place somewhere up here. Hopefully they've got a little cafe or something and we can while away a little bit of time with a tea. Look at those awesome colors. The reds and the oranges and the trees. This, this is the road that we were just driving up to get here. A bit further back. That's where the worst, more sheer drop was that I felt we were far too close to, but fingers crossed we can find a cafe up here somewhere now. Rain stopped, a little bit of a plus. I think the incredible mountain view is there, which is less than ideal, but this is where we were hoping to get to, a place called Zeta Camping. Apparently why this place is so famous, because it has such a phenomenal view here. And, uh, we're hoping it has a little cafe that we can chill in for a little bit and see if the clouds lift up. If not, then, I mean, still a pretty beautiful place to be. And I think we're all good. Look at this, even the weather, it's getting better. So after we've eaten, we're gonna go out and explore. See you later, Nadar. Bye. 
super, super sweet. We were just uh, sitting in the cafe and we got chatting to Nadar, our new Georgian friend. And he even offered us a lift back to uh, Tbilisi tomorrow if we wanted it. We're not sure because we were hoping to leave in the morning, but it was such a kind offer. The weather did clear up slightly just as our food came, but now we've eaten our food and come back out. It started to drizzle a little bit. Epic mountain up here. I think it's called Chalki, Chalki Mountain. But it looks epic when the clouds just open up enough to see the peaks. But yeah, uh, Nodar was telling us that there's a lake, maybe an hour and a half walk up here or something. So we're gonna see if we can make it to that and I think there might be a waterfall too. We got a fun river crossing here. Oh god. You can do it. And now go. <laughs> we made it. And we've made it to this lovely lake, the epic view behind us. Somewhat cloud covered still. Unfortunately, we've basically ascended into the cloud. Still a pretty awesome view. Down into the valley, Juta, right down here now. Pretty amazing, hey? Beautiful. That up there. I think if the clouds clear a little bit, one of the most epic views in all of Georgia so far for us. That mountain is unreal. So there's a little hut just over here. We're hoping we might be able to get a drink or something in there. See if we can wait. Still drizzling a little bit. So want it to try and stop raining. See if the clouds clear and see if we can see Mount Chalki or however you say it. <sighs> One mountain tea. So we got uh, kicked out of our nice little cafe that's over there. I think the people that were running it have gone back down the mountain, so we weren't able to stay. So we've come and sort of ended up staying in this random half, half built hut kind of thing here. We were waiting for the weather, see if it would dissipate, but the rain's getting uh, heavier. The cloud is still quite over the mountain, so. I think we're we're probably gonna call it a day and head back down. Yeah. Little waterfall all around here as well. Pretty nice. But now to head back down. Oh. Hello. Ah. Ah. Oh, I didn't get my camera out, I just ran, but they charged at us very quickly. I've never ridden an horse so quite so aggressive. Did you enjoy that? No. Do you not ever want to get that close to an angry horse again? It's 
So we've got most of the way back down to Juta and look what's happened. That is an epic, epic view. value your life, I recommend not going with him. <laughs> Some pretty crazy clouds here as well. Look how low they are. You can't even see the church that's up there. And it's right, it's literally right on top of the town here. Absolutely mad. It was a great day. Very good day. So, so glad that we got to see the mountain without all the clouds. Yeah, I really didn't think that was going to happen. It was a really nice walk, not too difficult. And the weather clearing up was just I'm going to finish this one up here. Thank you so much for watching. Big love. It feels good around here. What a serene and lovely valley. Until, of course, you're chased by three angry horses, especially this one right here. No, not a fan of you.